Welcome back to Done With Depression. It's trip eight, day one, and the drive up was pretty good. I always leave uh, super early in the morning so that I can catch the sunrise on the way up, and it's just pretty much perfect every time. I get to see the sunrise, and then by the time that's kind of over, I'm almost at Mount Shasta, and it's just a great drive up. So I thought it'd be cool today to go over some of the food that I normally bring up since it's day one. Uh, so we'll do that right now. I usually bring up a bag of apples. Um, apples keep pretty well. Uh, they're relatively cheap and you can get a lot of them. So I usually bring a bag of apples. And then this one's kind of off and on, but I'll either bring uh, mandarins, cuties, or uh, oranges, depending on what I have. But this time it was mandarins. So have those. They also keep pretty well and they're not too messy, easy to open. Uh, next thing I bring usually is some grapes. Uh, helps with dehydration, I guess. Um, it's a good little snack and they keep pretty well as long as it doesn't get too hot. Uh, since I've been working at the orchard, I'll bring whatever fruit I have. This stuff usually doesn't last as long, so I try and eat it first, but I'll usually have um, maybe a couple peaches or nectarines or plums. So this is a Asian pear and I brought some plums as well, but I already ate those. And I try and bring some bread. So this is from Walmart and it's a everything bread and it's vegan and it's really good. It kind of has a lot of salt, but I'm not really getting any salt from any of the other stuff that I'm eating. So it's okay for me to get a little bit of salt. And then just recently, I've been bringing the Arizona iced tea. Um, I should probably drink just water, but this is one of the things that I've been craving uh, whenever I'm here for a while. And so instead of going all the way into town just to get a can of iced tea for a dollar, I just get the jug now and I can sip, at, sip on it as I go and it's cheaper and I can reuse the jug. I don't have a whole lot to do project-wise while I'm up here and it seems like it's a little bit cloudy today and it could possibly rain. Uh, it also looks like it might have rained within the last three days or so. So I'm probably just gonna be watching the weather and reading a lot. I've been inspired to do more reading recently. So probably just gonna chill, watch the weather and do some reading. So as you guys know, I've been reading the book, The Four Agreements, and I'm on the second agreement now, which is don't take anything personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality and their own dream. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. So in the chapter, it talks about taking things personally and how when we take things personally, it's the maximum expression of selfishness because we're assuming that everything that's happening around us is related to us. So if someone doesn't smile at us, it's because we did something wrong. If someone's angry at us, it's because 
we did something to make them angry and we're so self-focused that we can't let other people have um, reactions and have their own emotions because we're infatuated with it being about us. Says nothing um, other people do is because of you, they're in a different dream. So it's important to realize that we're all in our own dream and we all have our own realities. Their point of view comes from their opinion and domestication. So just like we have our agreements that we agree to, they also have their agreements that they agree to, which is why they have um, different points of view and different ways of living. When we eat all of their emotional garbage and transfer their poison to us, it becomes our emotional garbage and our emotional poison that we then have to deal with. We want to defend our agreements, but they're, as, they're from a different dream than other people. And so it's virtually impossible to defend all of your agreements because other people come from a different dream and they're not going to understand your point of view exactly because they have different overall experiences than you. We accept negative agreements and don't accept positive agreements but we need to not accept any of the agreements and not take anything personally. So it's pretty much saying that if someone says, good job for doing something at work, or if you get in trouble at work, you'll take getting in trouble at work with way more downside than you would take the positive of doing something good at work. And so its argument is that we shouldn't take the positive or negative, and we should just have our own self-worth and use that to determine um, how good or bad that we're doing and use our self-worth to determine our outlook on life. And when you're able to do that, you can live without fear and focus on love and there'll be no room for negative emotions. So it's saying once you can ignore the good and ignore the bad and just have a true self-worth of your own, that's when you almost have this armor and you won't be able to accept poison from other people. It also says that we have all of these voices in our head that are saying a million different things. So it's not just other people that are casting poison on us, but we in our own heads are giving ourselves poison as well. And you have to ignore that too. So you're ignoring the good and bad other people are saying, you're ignoring the good and bad that's going on in your own head, and you're trying to have your own self-worth that you give yourself. The conflicts that we have in our mind between all the voices create a lot of confusion, and then it makes it difficult for us to know who we are as people and who our true self is. Taking things personally makes us suffer for nothing. We take other people's problems and make it our problems and transfer their poison to us, which adds to more suffering. We, as humans, agree to help each other suffer. That's just an agreement that we've all made pretty much since domestication that we're going to help each other suffer and it just ends up not being good. People lie to each other, people lie to themselves. Other people also lie to themselves, so you can't expect the truth from them. So even if someone's saying that you're doing a great job, they might be covering up a certain mask or something that they're doing in their life. And so the only person that you can actually fully trust to determine your self-worth is yourself. If you don't think, take things personally, you avoid a lot of mistakes in your life. Nothing can put you back into hell and it can lead to a huge amount of freedom if you don't take things personally. You can start breaking the small negative agreements just by following this one. And you can never be responsible for the actions of others. 
So essentially, we have to figure out who we are as a person, ignore all the negative self-talk that we have, ignore all of the things that we hear from other people, and just truly develop our own self-worth based on who we are as a person.